you know, we're going into what seems to be a race that is not just local, but very national in scope. Yes. I mean, we see um, the corporate, uh, with the corporate media, the corporate money, yes. Republican donorship, coming all in for your um, opponent, uh, Chantel Brown. Um, and yet, I feel as though this, at the end of this, this is about serving the constituencies uh, of the district. Uh, what do you say to those critics who, who tell you that you're not paying attention to the people that you would hope to serve um, in the midst of all of this, within that context? Yeah, I would say that they don't know what they're talking about. I mean, my entire service as an elected official and also an activist, because I've played you know, both roles or served in both roles, has been to change the material conditions. Uh, they don't understand that um, the needs of the people, they center me, and I am running to change the material conditions of the poor, the working poor, and the barely, barely middle class. But they have the luxury to talk about you know, who's a good Democrat and who is not. My campaign from the very begin beginning has sent those needs. Cleveland is the largest poor city of its size right now. We need to talk about those things. The people who live in Akron, which the district covers greater Cleveland and greater Akron, 23% of that population lives in poverty. Half of Cleveland's children are living in poverty. Those are the issues that we should be talking about. Those are the issues that my campaign is fighting for. And as you know, Karen, and this movement knows, I have been on that mission for a very long time, very much in a very concentrated way over the last six years, whether I was side by side with Senator Bernie Sanders in 2016 or leading our revolution in those in-between times and then right back with the senator as a national co-chair in 2020 we were on the ground in every part of this country including places like my home state to really get people to dare to dream a bigger dream and to demand more than what they're getting right now that is what this race is about for me and so to have one of my opponents because there are 13 people in this race including myself but one of my opponents invite in dirty money, which I'm calling evil money, by putting a red box on her website. She did that. She invited these people in. You know, they want to question who's the real Democrat. Uh, this person is getting money from Trump Republicans as well, direct donations and also indirect donations because they have to no donate it to the Democratic, uh, that the, the DMFI uh, group that has come after me. So I am fighting a multi-front war. We are fighting a multi-front war because I want to say to this progressive movement, thank you for being the wind beneath my wings. If it were not for this evil money coming in here, I am out raising, out raising, outpacing, outworking one, my number one competitor by leaps and bounds. So, but it would seem that the, the evidence of this outside money, including Republican do, uh, donors, and uh, I believe uh, Robert Kraft from the New, yes. uh, New England Patriots, um, That's right. all of these uh, big pharma, uh, big fossil oil, fuel, big um, ag. Yeah. that would say that it is not just a local race. This is a race of national significance and the, and, uh, and you know the evidence on, on the establishment side proves this. Yeah. Um, what do you? Can you also speak to the importance of every race that we have seen with pr the progressive insurgency against the establishment? How important every local race is nationally as well. No, very much so. I mean, what happens over here happens over there, and that's why I'm so honored to have uh, not only people from this district, but people who've come in from all over the country not in a big money way. These are individuals who are working class people who understand that this race is important to people who live in California, live in Illinois, live in Iowa, that we have formed together as we have, you know, since the this movement has, as the genesis of this movement with Senator Sanders, is to understand that we must come together as progressives. If we allow big money to win in this race, they will come to a neighborhood near you. They already come into neighborhoods near us, whether it was Jamal Bowman in New York, who's now congressman, whether it's now congresswoman Cori Bush. I mean, we can name a whole litany of progressives that the corporatist wing on both sides, they get together to try to stop people like me and so many others, because this didn't start with me, it's not gonna end with me. We wanna raise up a generation that keeps this going. But just think about this, what is our crime? Wanting Medicare for all. As soon as I, my Medicare for all commercial hit, for example, Karen, 
um, Big Pharma got right in this race, right, as soon as that commercial hit, because they don't want people in, in this country to have Medicare for all, but we need it. And there was a recent survey that shows that the constituents of my, in Northeast Ohio overwhelmingly want Medicare for all. So these people are coming in here, but they don't care. Right. That my, some people are poor in this district. They don't care that 50 percent of our children live in poverty. They don't care whether or not you have a job. They don't care that one million Ohioans have lost their employer sponsored health care. They don't give a damn about that. Well, it would it would seem that they do understand that where there is, pe as the saying goes, where there's people, there's power. There's power. Yes. 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 They do understand that. And that's why they're trying to stop us. And we cannot let them win here. We cannot let them win anywhere because democracy is at stake. If big money can come in and muddy the waters and malign and manipulate so that they can get the candidate they want, then that drowns out the voice of the people who actually live in these places who should have the loudest voices when it comes to deciding who should lead them. Well, thank you so much for thank your you. answers and uh, good luck on tomorrow. Thank you so much. And I, again, I want to thank um, Roots Action, Our Revolution, Democracy for America, just other progressive, Move On, Sunrise, so many, and then the House of Labor. Just I want to thank the organizations and the individuals who have really supported this campaign. As soon as they found out that there was an onslaught against me, people kept giving, and they are still giving. And I am so humbled and grateful because without these donations coming in, and, and Ohio is my second highest donor state and 85 percent of the money that we have gotten into this district that camp has come from ohio comes from the 11th congressional district you wow. want to talk about people power but if it were not for that we there were peers in this campaign camera we were being outspent four to one five to one on tv because of the evil money so i want to thank conscious-minded people everybody not might not necessarily call themselves progressives but i want to thank the conscious-minded people in my district and all over this country who have given of their time their talent and their treasure we could not be as competitive as we are right now fighting dark evil money and my next competitor without them